Cooking with Nublets. Cooking with Nublets. Hi guys, Steve here. On this video, we're going to make some delicious, tasty, augmented kibble to tame your creatures. Oh, it sounds like we've got our first customer. So let's see what we need to make. It's a rather hungry looking Valenosaur and his favourite food is regular augmented kibble. So let's go to the kitchen and make that now for him. It's always best to prepare your food in an industrial cooker as it's much quicker and got a bigger capacity. However, you want to make kibble early on in game so I'm going to use a cooking pot. For the fuel, I'm going to use spark powder. To show you what we need, I'll bring up a new blitz notepad. We need one cooked prime meat, one medium egg, one from any of these dinos that lay them will do. Press pause now if you need to look at it longer. Two raw carrots. Two salva root. Five mijo berries. Three fiber. Ten blue crystallized sap. You can get this by forming a white leaf tree outside the city. And water. All we have to do now is wait for it to finish. Because it's bubbling away. Some nice tasty kibble for my Valenosaur. Hope it's going to be happy. I usually have my Chinese assistant here helping me to cook. But he's having a week off walk. There we go, it's complete. One regular augmented kibble. I'll go out and give it him and wait till the next customer. Oh, we have two guests this time, a snow owl and a gas bag. Both of these like superior augmented kibble. Let's go inside and make him a quick snack. We've got plenty of spark powder fuel left. We need one prime meat jerky, one large egg, again any of the eggs from this list of dinos will do, ten red crystallized sap, you can get that from the red looking trees from a wasteland. One rare mushroom, ten mijo berries, three fibre, and water. Again, just wait until that's finished. Like I say, it's a lot quicker in the industrial cooker. Did you hear about the Italian chef who died trying to make this? He passed it away. He can only do so much. But his legend will become a pizza history. There we go, one superior augmented kibble. They're just going to have to share it. Oh, we have another hungry customer. And this time it's a hungry looking manamagrr. And these are tamed with exceptional augmented kibble. Let's get us something to eat. For the meat this time, we need two raw prime fish meat. An extra large egg. Anything from one of these creatures. Again, pause it if you need to. Two rare flowers. 10 mijo berries, 3 fibre, and 20 element dust. Then finally water. 
Let us simmer away on the gas mark 5. And while we're waiting, I'll show you where to get the ingredients from. You get raw prime fish meat from harvesting salmon with a sickle. Our fish is completely battered. I got rare flowers by picking bushes in the snow biome. And I got element dust by farming lampposts in the city. There we go, some nice tasty exceptional kibble. Oh, that sounds urgent. Oh, Mana McGrath's brought his date. Now, yes, when taming, they eat exceptional kibble. But we can also eat extraordinary kibble. I'm going to make that now. Let's bring up a new Blitz notepad. For the meat for this one, you need one cooked lamb chop. Now, you need special eggs for this kibble. And this is a short list of the creatures that can lay them. So, yeah, the eggs are going to be difficult because I've not seen a Hespro on this map. Therefore, I'm going to use a Titan Bower Egg. One honey that you can get from beehives. Oh, beehive. I've done a separate video on how to find the beehives, because they're pretty hard to see. Just grapple hook your way up. Get to the hive. Press E, grab a honey. And there you go. There's the ingredients for your kibble. As for getting the lamb chops for meat, ovis are extremely rare on this map. So if you do see any, take them back to your base immediately and tame them. Because after weeks of play, I've only seen one in the snow biome and one in the city. If you knock a carnivore out to tame it, then fly around expecting to find an ovis to feed it lamb chops is just not going to happen. They're extremely rare, so take them back to base, breed them, then kill them when you need the meat. Drag that over. Next you need 50 mijo berries, 10 fibre, and water. Not so many ingredients this time, just harder to get. It's best to tame titan bowers, because if you fly around looking for wild eggs, it will leave you exhausted. So getting eggs for this kibble is no yoke. Come on, admit it, my jokes made you smile. There we go, one extraordinary kibble. And there are all my satisfied customers that prefer augmented kibble. If you'd like to know the best way of taming them all, check out my Ark Extinction playlist at the end, and I'll show you the easiest ways to tame them. As a quick reminder, the Valenosaur's favourite food is regular augmented kibble. It's not the brightest dino ever. The Snow Owls is superior augmented kibble. The guest bag also likes superior augmented kibble. The Man of McGrath likes exceptional augmented kibble, plus it likes extraordinary augmented kibble. The other new creature on the extinction map is the Gotcha, but their favourite food isn't kibble. You can find out where to tame those, and what we eat in the playlist at the end, along with the other how to tame videos. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this cooking episode, and that it quickly helps you tame all those extinction creatures. Goodbye, and see you next time. Cooking with Nublets. Cooking with Nublets. Cooking with Nublets. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe if you've not already, and click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload next. There's links to other videos at the end, Comment on what you would like to see, and there's a link to Patreon if you feel like supporting the channel. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye!